It begins in Dera with teens spray painting an anti-Assad slogan. The teens are arrested, sparking an uprising. And Assad's forces kill and imprison thousands in an effort to quash it. Defectors from the military take up arms, branding themselves the Free Syrian Army. The conflict spreads. Daesh rises and declares Raqqa its capital. By June, more than 90,000 people have been killed in fighting. UN inspectors conclude the regime used chemical weapons, killing about 300 in the Damascus suburb of Ghouta. UN brokered peace talks fail. We did not achieve these negotiations. Daesh declares a caliphate stretching from Aleppo to Iraq's Diyala province. The US turns its focus to fighting Daesh and begins funding the FSA and YPG as a counter. Russia carries out its first airstrikes in Syria, saying it's targeting Daesh, but it also strikes anti-regime targets. Turkish troops cross into Syria to push Daesh and the YPG from its border. Regime troops backed by Russia take Aleppo, pushing the opposition out of its stronghold. Russia, Iran and Turkey agree to de-escalation zones, but peace talks stall. The US arms the YPG, regarded the Syrian arm of the PKK terror group, as part of a plan to strengthen the opposition, angering NATO ally Turkey. The Daesh Caliphate collapses and Assad's forces gain ground. Turkey launches Operation Olive Branch in northern Syria with the aim of ousting the YPG from Afrin. Regime forces, the support of Russia, launch an assault on opposition-held eastern Ghouta. There is no end in sight.